Hello and welcome to Cinema 104, film history from 1945 to present. This is going to be a great class. I really hope you guys enjoy it. But first a reminder, if you haven't already, go back and watch Lecture Zero. That sets up the whole class. You'll find that in week zero. That's sort of the prep week to get you oriented to how the class is going to operate. If you haven't watched that, make sure you give it a look. It's very short. It basically just explains how the class operates, where to find things, and strategies for success. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, this class is about Hollywood and American film industry. So what is Hollywood? We know that. Uh, it's a place in uh, Southern California, but also it represents the film industry. When we say Hollywood, we're talking about the films they make and just the entirety of that film industry. Uh, that, of course, is in Los Angeles. Uh, wasn't always so, but we'll, you'll, you'll learn that in the lecture. So um, World War II, 1945, major event in world history. Everything changes. Everything is churned up. Hollywood helps creating propaganda films, uh, sending their stars actually to help in the war effort, okay? Coming out of the war, U.S. is in a unique position in the world, and Hollywood is as well. They're on top. Most of the under other film industries in Europe were destroyed during World War II, okay? The U.S. actually bombed Chichen Itza, the Italian film studio, the great Italian film uh, studio in Italy during the war. Okay, so the American films are going all over the world. Attendance is really high. And in 1946, the U.S. reaches its peak. Peak attendance, peak revenues. Hollywood is on top, but it won't last. Uh, shortly thereafter, attendance begins to drop. And then something called the Paramount decision comes along, which divests Hollywood from its theaters, taking away its most lucrative component. You're going to learn all about this in the lecture. It's in your study notes, in your study guide, and also in the little video clips that I've shared with you. So things start to go downhill for Hollywood, and particularly the studio system. The studio system was the organizational structure, the sort of hierarchical control, very pyramidic, with the guy at the top having real uh, final creative say over everything that was done in any in individual studio. So that starts to crumble with the Paramount decision and the loss of revenues. And Post-war society begins to change, and Hollywood reflects that. One of the ways that they reflect it is in the films of film noir, which is a specific genre within Hollywood and within Hollywood films. And it uh, addresses sort of seedy, dark, um, detective-type stories, uh, often crime and deception, usually a double cross and usually a femme fatale, which you'll learn about in uh, the lectures that you, I have for you. So all these various genres are happening at the same time. And we also get a couple other films. We get Double Indemnity, which is a brilliant example of a film noir. We get uh, All About Eve, which is a lovely film that really shows classic Hollywood and how much it's very much like theater. It, di very dialogue driven, very much about performance and very much about performing the very elaborate dialogue written in this era, okay? As we learned earlier, modern films are more visual. Modern films rely more on visual storytelling. They're more cinematic, whereas we'll see with these older films, they're particularly story-driven and particularly dialogue-driven because that was the nature of Hollywood, the technology, and also the taste of the people. Remember, they didn't really have television then. So people, you're either reading the newspaper, listening to the radio, or watching a movie. So people were more literate, and we see that reflected in the films. Last film, the most important, best years of our lives swept the Oscars, and it's really a film that sums up the American post-war experience. We would get a chance to see uh, what that was like and uh, how people were recovering. Very brilliant film with three different protagonists, all from different classes. So this is just a taste of what's uh, in the lecture. Uh, you'll find all the information in, uh, in week one, module one. Make sure to watch the lectures about Paramount Decision and Film Noir, and then also watch as many of the film clips as you can. Definitely watch the film's explained. That's uh, very important. It kind of summarizes the film, means you don't have to watch it all. Uh, this is a survey course. We aren't going to be watching films in their entirety, but I really encourage you to think about doing that for the films that you that you really like, that, are, that, that touch you. Okay? All right. Uh, reach out with any questions and uh, enjoy the rest of the class.